thing. We'll try it, see what comes out of it. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'll smile at you. <laughs> These people around here are really starting to get on my nerves. Oh, but that's all right. You're the biggest one. A... <laughs> yeah, she says, I'm on my last nerve. No, you're on my last nerve. I'm running out of nerves. No, you're doing good. I don't have any nerves shut this thing off back here so all crazy. Man, we got a pretty pretty cool study to go through today. Yeah, I heard sure a couple of days ago. Yeah, this is about two days old. And uh, so we're going to look, go through it this morning and uh, see how we make it. My daughter dressed me this morning. She told me to put this shirt on. Only because somebody was, will you hurry up? <laughs> we love you too. We'll help you, Dad. All right. So we're going to get this thing kicked off this morning and see how it comes out. You ready? Yeah. All right. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters chosen by the happy God. Concerning our verse for today, we look at Enoch's commentary and see that the greater our appreciation of our Lord's grace toward us, the ow, I got a, I bit my tongue the other day. The greater our appreciation, will you quit? <laughs> Sorry, I just like listening to you, just doing it. An awesome job, and it's neat to hear. I'm a wacky. Okay. All right. The greater our appreciation of our Lord's grace toward us, the greater grace will we show towards all who belong to Him. Without this compelling power, we shall be able only to exercise our natural ungracious dispositions. Ungracious dispositions. Well, I have an ungracious disposition <laughs> right now. A quote from A. E. Nock is a great one to think on. When we are given the understanding of the grace that we have been given, it changes our disposition. A beautiful truth is known, known is, yet God, being rich in mercy because of his vast love with which he loves us, we also being dead to the offenses and the lust, vivify us together in Christ, in grace are you saved and rouses us together and seats us up together among the celestials in Christ Jesus, that in the oncoming eons he should be displaying the transcendent riches of his grace and his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For in grace, through faith, are you saved, and this is not out of you. It is... <laughs> God's approach present, not of works, lest anyone should be boasting. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was Ephesians 2, 4 through 9. So we're getting into uh, Colossians 3, 12, and, and these are the references that goes with it. Hold on. All right. right but it's remarkable to see how this talk comes together. Man, it's, it's neat. And uh, <clears throat> the things that we see today in, in this Man, it's, there's so much in it, but I'm excited to get through this. I'm sorry, I had to turn the fan on. Right. Turn it around there, we can climb in. <clears throat> okay, it's right. your turn. So, <laughs> so we're going to get into these references uh, to Colossians 3.12, which says, Put on, then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, pitiful compassions, kindness, humility, meekness, patience. Do not lie to one another, stripping off the old humanity together with its practices and putting on the young, which is being renewed into recognition to accord with the image of the one who creates it. To put off from you, as regards your former behavior, the old humanity, which is corrupted in accord with its seductive desires, yet to be rejuvenated in the spirit of your mind and to put on the new humanity which in accord with God is being created in righteousness and beneath the other truth. Wherefore, putting off the false, that each be speaking the truth with his associate, for we are members of one another. <laughs> I am entreating you then, I, the prisoner in the Lord, to walk worthily of the calling with which you are called. 
with all humility and meekness, and with patience, bearing with one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit with the tie of peace. Tie of peace. Let no tainted word at all be issuing out of your mouth. But if any is good towards the needs flatification, that it may be giving grace to those hearing. <laughs> and do not be causing sorrow to the Holy Spirit of God, by which you are sealed for the day of deliverance. <laughs> Let all bitterness and fury and anger and clamor and calumny be taken away from you with all malice, yet become kind to one another. Thank you. Okay, do that again. I'm going to die. They're trying to kill me. Being tenderly compassionate, dealing graciously among yourselves, according as God also in Christ deals graciously with you. There you are, sweetie. Sorry. That's all right. We'll get you started okay. here directly. <clears throat> there you go. For <laughs> not as yet being born, nor putting into practice anything good or bad, that the purpose of God may be remaining as a choice, not out of acts, but of him who's calling. Wow, that's nothing of herself, isn't it? The night progresses, yet the day is near. We then should be putting off the acts of darkness. Yes, you be putting on the implements of light. As in the day, respectively, should we be walking, not in rivalries and drunkennesses, not in chambering and wantonnesses, not in strife and jealousy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and be making no provisions for the lust of the flesh. <laughs> Therefore I am enduring all because of those who are chosen that they also may be happening upon the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with glory Eonian. Eonian. <laughs> wow. Paul was a, a slave of God. Yeah. Yet an apostle of, Christ, of Jesus Christ and according to the faith of God's chosen and a realization of the truth which accords with devoutness in the expectation of life Eonian which God who does not lie promises before times Eonian yet manifests his word in its own errors by heralding. This is what we're doing. We're heralding, which I was entrusted according to the injunction of God our Savior. He was entrusted <laughs> to herald. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Love is patient. Oh, my gosh. I have to read this one. That's a good one. See, look at it. It's so awesome. Love is patient, is kind. <laughs> Love is not jealous. Love is not bragging. It is not puffed up. It is not indecent. It is not self-seeking. It is not incensed. Oh, Lord, I'm messed with that thing. That's one of my big downfalls. It is not taking into account of evil. It is not rejoicing in injustice. Yet it is rejoicing together with the truth. It is for it is foregoing all is believing all, is expecting all, is enduring all. Love is never lapsing, yet whether prophecies they be discarded, or languages they will cease, or knowledge it will be discarded. You know, this is all the, the love is the fruit of the Spirit. That That's is right. love. And all this is the attributes of God. This is that Christ attributes. This is what we're achieving to become like. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> well, let's see. I'm not patient. I am jealous of a certain degree. Yeah, she's got jealous on her. I've seen that. But, you know, this is so cool to have because this we're, we're getting there. We're getting into becoming more like him and all yeah, every day. I'm getting better. So we are causing no one... We are giving no one cause to stumble in anything, lest flaws be found with the service. But in everything, we are commending ourselves as servants of God, in much endurance, in afflictions, in necessities, in distresses, in blows, in jails, in turbulences, in toils, in vigils, in fasts, in pureness, in knowledge, in patience, in kindness, in Holy Spirit, in love in the word of truth, in the power of God, through the implements of the righteousness of the right hand and of the left. <laughs> wow. According as he chooses us 
in him before the disruption of the world, we to be holy and flawless, flawless in his sight, in love, designating us beforehand for the place of a son, for him through Jesus Christ, in accord with the delight of his will, for the laud of his glory, for the, for the laud, applause, of yeah. his gr glory, of his grace, which graces us in the beloved. Imagine getting an applause from God. <laughs> we are I thanking God him, always. I applaud him because he, yeah. Yeah, this is, a, we're, a, we're his creation. We're, we're his achievements. We are thanking God always concerning you all, making mention in, of you in our prayers. Yeah, we do that. Unintermittently, remembering your work of faith and toil of love and endurance of expectation of our Lord Jesus Christ in front of our God and Father, having perceived, brethren, beloved by God, your choice. For the evangel of our God did not come to you in word only, but in power also, and in Holy Spirit, and much assurance, according as you are aware, such we became among you because of you, and you became imitators of us and of the Lord, receiving the word in much affliction with joy of Holy Spirit, so that you become models to all believers in Macedonia and Achaia. Now we ought to be thanking God always concerning you, brethren, beloved by the Lord, seeing that the that God prefers you from oh Lord uh, seeing that God prefers you from the beginning for salvation in holiness of the spirit and faith in the truth into which he also calls us through our evangel for the procuring of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ Christ Jesus, Jesus Christ I wish they would just one way well, see, when it's Jesus Christ, it speaks of his humanity. When it's Christ Jesus, it speaks of his authority. I know, but just do no. one. <laughs> You're doing awesome. Consequently, then, brethren, stand firm and hold to the traditions which you were taught by us, whether through word or our epistle. And you, being dead to your offenses and sins, in which once you walked, in accord with the eon of this world, in the court of the chief of the jurisdiction of the air, the spirit now operating in the sons of stubbornness, among whom we all also behaved ourselves once in the lust of our flesh, doing the will of the flesh and of the comprehension, and were in our nature children of indignation, even as rest. Yet God, being rich in mercy, because of his vast love with, with, with which he loves us, we also being dead to the offenses and the lust. He vivifies us together in Christ. In grace are he saved. And he rouses us together and seats us together among the celestials in Christ Jesus that in the oncoming eons he should be displaying the transcendent riches of his grace in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For in grace and through faith are you saved. And this is not out of you. It is God's approach present. <laughs> <laughs> You may not be ashamed, then, of the testimony of our Lord, nor yet of me, his prisoner, but suffer evil with the evangel in accord with the power of God, who saves us and calls us with a holy calling, not in accord with our acts, but in accord with his own purpose and the grace which is given to us in Christ Jesus, before times eonian. Yeah. <laughs> yet now being manifested through the advent of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who indeed abolishes death, yet illuminates life and corruption through the evangel. Through the evangel. Yet, when the kindness and fondness for humanity of our Savior, God made its advent, not for works, which are wrought in righteousness, which we do, but according to his mercy, he saves us through the bath of reticence and renewal of Holy Spirit, which he pours out on us richly through Jesus Christ, our Savior, that being justified in that one's grace, we may be becoming enjoyers in expectation of the allotment of life eonian. <laughs> it's, it's coming. <laughs> For God is my witness, 
how I am longing for you all in the compassions of Christ Jesus and I am praying that your love may be superabounding still more and more in realization and all sensibility for you to be testing that things are of consequence and you may be sincere and not stumbling block for the day of Christ filled with the fruit of righteousness that is through Jesus Christ for the glory and laud of God oh, yeah. if then there is any consolation in Christ if any comfort of love if any communion of spirit if any compassion and pity fill my joy full that you may be mutually disposed having mutual love joined in soul being disposed to one thing Nothing according with faction, nor yet according with vainglory, but with humility, deeming one another superior to oneself, not noting that which is his own, but that but what but each that of the others also. <laughs> wow, right here. Right there. Let love <laughs> be unfeigned, abhorring that which is wicked, clinging to gut to good. Let us have fond affection for one another with brotherly fondness yeah. in honor, deeming one another first, in diligence, not slothful, fervent in spirit, slaving for the Lord, rejoicing in expectation, enduring affliction, pers persevering in prayer, contributing to the needs of the saints, and pursuing hospitality. For we in spirit are awaiting the expectation of righteousness by faith. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision is availing anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith, operating through love. Now the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, <laughs> kindness, goodness, faithfulness, meekness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Now, we are entreating you, brethren, admonish the disorderly, comfort the faint-hearted, uphold the infirm, and be patient toward all, seeing that no one may be rendering evil for evil to anyone, but always pursue that which is good for one another, as well as for all. Be rejoicing always, be praying unintermittently, in everything be giving thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. We are learning how to admonish one another in love rather than arguing. We live in a world that encourages us to be self-centered, fearful, and angry, to prove their point regardless of the consequences. We are learning to have compassion for one another. As, oh, go ahead. As we focus on Paul's letters, we see who are we are to be in Christ. Paul focuses on walking in the love that we have been given in Christ. We have been given everything in him. Yep. To focus on stuff here is meaningless. It will all pass away. Knowledge without love is meaningless. Wow. Putting on love is a time of maturity. God is using us as a display of, of what walking in love looks like. We have each been given a measure of faith. Faith operating through love. Those who have been chosen to see it will see this truth, each in his own order. We have been given a great gift to see this now. <laughs> Eventually, all will see it. Yet God, being rich in mercy, he vivifies us and rouses, he rouses us together. He seats us together in Christ. What a cause for rejoicing. There is, is, this is where our joy comes from. Our boast is in Christ Jesus alone. Nothing we do. What we do has been given by God for us to do. So it's all God. Thank God for grace. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Man, what a, that's all the references and our thoughts put together for uh, chapter, or Colossians 3, verse 12. And uh, man, it's neat to go through this stuff. It, <laughs> reading them out loud brings so much more into it. And... Uh, <laughs> it's a good scene. I wish you guys could be here one morning here and <laughs> them all just <laughs> putting these together. Yeah, and then I go take a nap. <laughs> <laughs>
it takes time, but man, it's so so much to it, and uh, it's wonderful. It's, it's, it's I mean, I I, I I make fun of it, saying that it's dip 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 dip, but no, it's they know what they're doing and they see it all, and it's it great. Just falls together the way God wants it to. So thank God for grace. You know? Yep. But thank God for grace. Anyway. Boy, that's gonna save my butt. <laughs> saves us all. Oh yeah, but yeah. Really imagine that. Me. Yeah, you ain't any worse than I am, and I'm no worse than you are. So, anyway, we know God's the only purpose to bring all back to Him. Yeah. Through love. Wow. Anyway, anything you need to add? No, I love you. I love you too. And I love you guys. And we love you all. So, grace and peace to all of you. And we'll catch y'all later. Let's go see what God's got for us. Right. Bye. See you later.